Oh, you guys, the trap just went off. The trap just went off. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. All the bullets that we're dodging Hide the bones in the garden Never beg for a pardon I am a tad bit nervous for this episode because we are heading to one of my favorite spillways where I've caught some epic fish, but unfortunately, it usually does not do very well in the winter time. I am hoping that's not the case for today. recognize this spillway. I have not fished down here in quite some time, but it looks a whole lot better than the last time I was here. I am hoping there are fish living below it. We're about to find out. I brought three rods with me today and a couple different bait options. Bait option number one, you guys could probably guess it, that being, of course, night crawlers, and I brought a ton. But option number two is a little bit further out there. Along with the night crawlers, I also brought along some saltwater fish that I caught on my last trip down to Florida. Two additional pieces of equipment that I brought along with me today are these automatic hook setters. I bought these about three years ago. I made a video with them a long time in the past, but we are gonna be utilizing them. Whoa, we, we are going to be utilizing them today. How they work is very simple. What you do is you stick it in the ground with this spike. You strap the rod right here. You set the hook setter and then you run the line through this little trigger mechanism and whenever you get a bite, it flings your rod up and hopefully sets the hook on whatever took your bait. I'm gonna go ahead and start by rigging up a night crawler and placing it in the automatic hook setter. Here we go. All right, I've got the night crawler out there. Let's rig the hook setter. Okay, I've got the line going from the spool to the trigger mechanism, and then from there, it goes out to the night crawler. So if anything picks up that bait, it's gonna trip this, and the whole rod is gonna fling upwards and hopefully set the hook on whatever picked up the bait. While I have that night crawler sitting on the hook setter, let's go ahead and toss out this chartreuse curly tail grub. I've tried a handful of baits and lures without any success. I think it's time to adventure downstream to find some deep water. After hiking through some pretty dense wood, we have finally made it to a deep spot. Let's go ahead and toss some baits out. I am getting more and more nervous. I've yet to get a single bite. Let's keep moving. And we have made it to the best spot that I have found on this creek. If they're not out here, I don't know where those fish are. Last time I was here, there were hundreds of lethargic fish just hanging out in this deep water. I am hoping they're still there and I'm hoping they're hungry. Let's go ahead and rig up a piece of that frozen saltwater fish. This is called a ladyfish. They make for excellent shark bait, but I think that they will catch freshwater fish as well. Let's go ahead and rig up a chunk. I'm gonna toss it out weightless over in the deep water. Hopefully a big fish wants to pick it up. Oh my gosh, fish on. Yes, 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 yes. I was just slowly retrieving my little crankbait. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe it. I was giving up hope, but we just caught a really cool spotted gar. One of my favorite freshwater fish. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and let this beast go. See you later, buddy. What a cool catch. I was beginning to lose hope, but we were finally able to catch our first fish. 
And that fish was a special one. That was my first spotted gar of the year. What a cool catch. Hopefully we'll be able to catch something else. That guy picked up my full size lipless crankbait, but I feel like the fish in this cold water would be more apt to pick up a smaller bait. So I went ahead and rigged up this smaller blade bait on my ultralight. Let's see if we can hook into another fish. Fishing has been incredibly slow today, and I think that is due to the fact that it is freezing cold out here today. I'm not quite ready to give up, so let's start a small fire and try to keep warm. Conditions are not ideal for starting a fire. It actually rained quite heavily last night, so this could be a little tricky. Something that I always keep in my backpack are these survival matches. I've used them a couple times in the past, but it has everything you need to start a fire. Hopefully we can get one going. The first step was to dig this hole where I could protect the fire from the wind. The next step is going to be to find some small tinder. As you guys can tell, we have no shortage of wood. There are quite a few dead trees laying around. Let's go ahead and collect some of these small twigs. Okay, I've got some dry grass, some small twigs, and some slightly larger wood collected. I went ahead, I built this little teepee situation with some dry grass in the middle. Let's see if we can get it to light. All right guys, it looks like we finally got it going. I was a little nervous. This wood is completely soaked, but we finally got it going. I've got these larger logs right next to the flame. I'm trying to dry them out, but so far that feels really nice. You guys know what beads freezing and not catching any fish it would be sitting next to a fire and not catching any fish. I had some uh, hot dogs or some marshmallows to eat with this fire, but I do not. I do, however, have something. I believe it's in my backpack. Yes, here we go. I've got some Nick Sticks free range turkey. I will take it. Oh, you guys, the trap just went off. Trap just went off. No way. I don't think anything's on there though. Darn. Let's check the bait. Dang, you guys, something definitely ate it. I've only got a small piece of bait left. Let's go ahead and rig up some more. That was my first bite in forever. All right, let's go ahead and toss a bait back over there. All right, now we're gonna eat some Nick sticks and wait for the next bite. Oh, you guys, I'm getting a bite. Oh, there goes the hook setter. I had a fish mess with the bait. It took most of the night crawler, but they got away. Oh, <laughs> there it goes again. I'm thinking whatever is messing with the bait is pretty small because they keep escaping without getting hooked. Unfortunately, it is getting very dark. I need to go ahead and call it, so let's go ahead and bury this campfire. I've got a very long hike back to my truck in complete darkness, so I need to start making that journey. But overall, fishing was incredibly tough today. I am, however, glad that we were at least able to catch one fish, and that one fish was a very cool one, that being that spotted gar. And overall, I still had a lot of fun today. The automatic hook setter went off a few times there at the end, but unfortunately, we were not able to get a hook set on any of those bites. Anyways, I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up. Possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one.
and we just broke the first match.